Hey guys, I'm Abil back again with another video. This time it is about this Mac Airbook that I've got recently. I've been using this device and honestly, it is really good. But when I switched to this one for the first time, being a Windows user and particularly Android lover, I found that certain things are different here. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys certain simple things that you should know when you're starting with this Mac Airbook. Okay, like very simple. It is not about very complicated things, simple things like copy paste, cut paste, how the keys will work. You know, th that is something which is different from Windows laptops. Okay, so I believe that this is going to help you for those uh, who have just bought this one. And particularly, honestly guys, transferring data from Android device to OS, this is iOS, it's really, really difficult. You know, if you don't know the simple methods, the official method I'm going to talk about in this video, which is very simple. Okay, so before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the power menu or we can call it start options here. So here you can see that if you click on this uh, Apple logo, you will have these options about this Mac, system preferences, app store, recent items, force quit, sleep, restart, shutdown. These are the options that we normally get in Windows PC if you click on the start menu, right? Then lock screen, log out, these are the things here. Now, first of all, let's start with this about this Mac. If you click here, it will show you the overview of the specs, the OS, then display settings, storage, how much storage you have already used and how much is remaining, then support services, okay? After that, uh, if you click on this option, system preferences, you will get the menu, that is the settings menu, okay? After that, if you click on App Store, it will take you to the App Store where you can find the updates available for the apps and you can search for new apps and you can install them, uninstall the existing ones as well. After that, we have this option, recent items. It will show you the recently opened applications and other documents and files. Okay, then we have this force quit. So this is interesting because if you want to close any app which is not responding or you want to see how many apps are running in the background, so you can get the list here and you can force quit them as well. Okay, like this, force quit, force quit, done. Next, sleep, restart, shutdown. You know these options, lock screen, lock out. Okay, now let me tell you about two settings that you may need, okay, initially because these are the things that which are actually not uh, you know easily accessible if you're switching to mac from windows okay first of all how to check the wallpapers or you can change them screen saver desktop and here you will find desktop and then screen saver so desktop these are the default ones okay you can select them and you can get the see the preview here as well after that, if you want to select any pictures of yours, then you can go to the folders and you can select them. Suppose if I go here, say this, pictures, okay, then photo library, okay, so I can select these, clear? Now, next thing is a bit, uh, you know, interesting because this is something that I was finding really difficult to locate when I wanted to increase the screen on time. Okay, on this means what happens if the screen is idle, uh, it logs off, right? The screen goes off. So if you want to increase that time, what do you have to do? Simply go to, you know, system, then settings. Okay, you have this option battery. Click here. Okay, after that, what do you have to do? Simply click on battery again here. And this is the option, turn display off after. So you can increase the time or decrease the time here. Suppose I have kept it at 15 minutes. So up to 15 minutes, the screen will be on, okay? Even if it is idle. So this is something that initially I was finding it uh, difficult, right? To locate, but yes, it is there. Okay, next thing is about files, okay? If you want to check the files or documents, you know, things that you have saved in your Mac. So here you will find that applications, all the applications will be here. Whatever you have kept in desktop, documents, downloads, you can access from here. So now let's check on some basic functions. Like suppose if you have opened, uh, suppose let me show you this. 
if I open this Safari, the browser, uh, if you want to minimize or maximize things here, these are the options that you have. This is to close, quit, minimize, then this is the full screen. Okay, if you touch here, it will show you again the options. Then again, go to the minimum view and then quit. Yeah, so if you're not able to find the options, these are here. Okay, initially, even I found it um, difficult to locate these. Okay, now next is how to add uh, apps shortcuts on the desktop. To do this, what do you have to do? Simply click on this finder. Okay, and here you will have this option applications. Click there and it will show you all the apps which are installed in your Mac. Okay, suppose I want to create this shortcut. What do you have to do? Simply drag and drop on the desktop. That's it. You can see it here now. Okay, here, right? So this is the way you can add shortcuts of apps on the desktop. Next, let's see how to right click, you know, delete items and empty bin. Okay, what do you have to do? Suppose if you don't have a mouse, okay, if you use this touchpad, if you want to right click, what do you have to do? Simply press this control button and then the touchpad, okay? And it will show you the right click options. Okay, if you want to click here, it will create a new folder, okay? Now how to delete uh, items or any files, okay? Suppose I want to delete this thing here, okay? This one, uh, let me show you this. First view, you yeah, know, none, okay? Suppose. I want to delete this thing okay now what do you have to do simply click here and then command and delete command then delete gone yeah if i want to delete multiple things then i have to do one thing simply click on command and select multiple items okay so you can see that uh, these will be deleted simply command and delete yeah done so this is the way you can delete multiple things so you cannot just delete by pressing the delete button here you have to combine it with command okay command is simply like control button on windows yeah now next thing is uh, how to empty bins okay then what do you have to do simply click here uh finder okay then empty bin and empty gone that's it now let's start with some useful shortcuts now first of all let's start with this copy paste suppose if i want to copy this file simply select it and command then copy okay and then command plus v that is paste okay here you can see it yeah so this is very simple and it's really fast okay this m1 chip is really fast yeah then next is Select multiple items, I've already told you that simply command, then select multiple items like this, whatever you want to select. You can select multiple items by clicking command, then selecting the items. Okay, now how to minimize windows. Okay, for that, what do you have to do? Suppose this window is open, okay, this one, okay, or suppose this one. What I have to do simply command plus M, yeah. So this way, but the window must be activated. Okay, that's it. Okay, after that, uh, close, closing windows. Suppose I want to close this window. Suppose this is open. Then what do you have to do? Simply command and window. Okay, that would be closed. Now, if you want to quit a particular, you know, window or app. Suppose I'm opening this app. Okay, and if I want to quit this one simply command quit that's it very simple now next thing is force quit i've already told you about this so what do you have to do to get that option by you know using the shortcuts uh, here you can get it from here from the start menu but if you want to use the shortcut what do you have to do simply you know uh, you have to do this thing okay command then options and then skip okay it will give you this option yeah and the same thing can be done here by selecting the app force quit that's it simple isn't it okay now another thing 
uh, as we are using, you know, um, Mac, so we'll be using this Safari a lot. Now to check the history, what do you have to do? Simply Command and Y, and it will give you the history. From here, you can check the history or you can clear them as well, okay? That's very simple. Next, how to take screenshots. Now, if you want to take screenshot of the whole desktop, then simply press this command key, then shift and three. And by default, it saves the screenshot on the desktop. Here you can see this, okay? Now, what if, suppose uh, you have this window open and you just want to take the screenshot of this window, not the whole screen, including desktop. For that, what do you have to do? Simply command, shift and four and then space, okay? Now you can see this snapshot icon. Now just simply click on this window, okay? Done. Now you can find this here on the desktop. So you can see this, okay? So this can be used if you are in need. Next, let me show you how you can use two fingers gesture on the touchpad to scroll down or up. Simply do it like this, okay? Yeah, so you can scroll up or down like this, but you have to use two fingers. If you use only one finger, it will not work, okay? So what do you think about it? Now, after this, let's talk about the thing that, um, you know, some of you maybe might be waiting for that. How to transfer file from Android to this, you know, Mac, okay? Now to transfer data from this Android device to this Mac, you need two things. First, you have to install one app. Let me show you this. Simply go to browser here and search for this app. Android file transfer, okay? And I must tell you that do not use any third-party app because those are not secure, okay? So if you go to this android.com here, yeah, simply you will get this link to download. Simply download it and install. I have already done it, so let me show you this. If I go to Launchpad, here is the app, okay? If I open it now, it will say that uh, no Android device found because I have not connected the device to this Mac now. So for that, what do you need? One Type-C to Type-C cable, so which I have already connected, okay? So what I have to do, simply connect the device now using this Type-C cable, okay? Here, you can see, I've done it. And after that, you can see that can't access because I haven't given the access permission here. Simply drag it like this and here, tap for more options, file, okay? Now you can access the things on this device. So you can see that, let me show it again. Simply go to Launchpad, now open it. So you can see that this window will show you everything, all the folders which are there on this device. Now, if I want to, you know, get anything from here, simply go to the CM, then camera, Okay, now if there are so many files, then it will take some time, okay? You can see that. Now, if you want to copy paste or move anything from here, simply drag and drop like this. That's it, very simple, isn't it? So if you are using Mac or you have a, you know Android device, then only use this method because this is officially from Android and it is actually secure. So I believe that this will help you guys. Okay, so guys, I believe that this video is going to help you. And if it does, then let me know in the comments. And this video is just for those who have just started with a Mac. We have just switched from Windows to Mac. This is for them, okay? Because I have just covered very basic things, but you should know it when you have just started with a Mac, okay? So what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. And if I missed out any very important thing, then let me know in the comments and do subscribe to watch more videos and if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments and if you want to watch any particular video on this macbook air do share your thoughts okay so till the next video guys cheers and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos and help me to build this channel or i can say our channel cheers guys